guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today is a tutorial in Cinema 4D. Uh, so I haven't kind of worked on a 3D kind of based program for a while so here is a Cinema 4D tutorial and it's basically how to create some falling cubes. Uh, I was thinking about doing this uh, a few few months back but I decided against it because um, I thought it would be unfair. Uh, if you take a look at this video, send in 3D intro. Um, I'm going to mute the sound. Uh, and you'll see the tech, the kind of cubes fall on the text and kind of go around. The kind of the law of physics is applied. Uh, basic physics, that is, of how it just kind of fall on the text and collapse. And then, like the normal Cinema 4D, where it just falls down and will go through the plane. But no, that's kind of sort of what we're going to be getting at today. Uh, here's a quick kind of snippet of the cube falls and they bounce off the text, etc. And uh, yeah. So without further ado, it's going to create, go to File New, and it's going to start working with the plane. First things first, going to go to a square, just click that, and I'm going to go on the green arrow, hold shift, and drag up to 100. Now this is kind of an OCD thing I do, this just means it's above the plane, so if you had a full plane, this will be kind of resting on that, as opposed to kind of half, half under, half in. And so once we've got the cube, you want to make it smaller. So we're just going to go to size, I'm going to make them 50, and obviously you want it as a cube, it's going to make everything to 50, so they're all even. And uh, you can design the cube now, so I'm just going to fillet, 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 I think that's a common thing, I've, I've completely forgot. Anyway, just add the tip of the little fillet box, uh, drag it down, you know, this just like uh, rounds the edges. Uh, I don't want it, you, you can obviously make a circle if you wanted to, but you would know, just kind of create some smooth edges just so it looks smooth. And that is that. Now we're just going to clone our object. Now you might think uh, adding the cloner object going to be kind of creating more of the cubes, in fact that is not what we're going to be doing uh, so we're going to change the count to 1 now you may ask uh, why we actually done that because it actually hasn't been cloned uh, this is because it's only um, the emitter only works under the cloner object it won't, well, you won't be able to drag the cube straight into the emitter so you need to add the cube to a cloner before adding to the emitter if you get that if you don't just have a look at this little task thing here and just make sure it looks something like that now obviously you haven't now you want to drag the cloner object to the emitter like so and there's kind of like a little pattern there like a staircase and that is that I'm just going to get a good angle here and if you maybe just go to play you'll see that these little white kind of particles flying out this is kind of like the projectiles of where the cube will be going uh, but you know the cube's not actually not that, that cube that you just made is not going out of the emitter so a basic thing just go under the emitter and go to show objects and well, uh, it's kind of very closed and claustrophobic and very compact. So what we're going to do is first things first, we're going to change the size of the emitter. So we're going to go to the emitter prop, uh, settings and we're going to change the size 300 to by 300. What has happened? There we go. Uh, I believe I'll change it to 3000. 3000 rather. Anyway, 300 by 300. That should do it. Go back to the beginning play and you notice they're all separated out and that is kind of hard to get the create cubes coming out and now I'm just going to do more of the designing part just going to add a floor so just go to this little 4 hour thing go to floor uh, go to the emitter I'm just going to zoom out a bit by using the scroll on the mouse and I'm just going to drag it up and I'm going to change go to the uh, rotate tool and we're going to rotate it so they're kind of falling down and obviously you can use it in your own way but this is the kind of thing that I'll be going for and so if you play, you notice they're coming down, but that is, that's not what you want. And in fact, I'll change the frames to 300 there. Just so you can see, because this is a point I'm trying to imply. You see here, they go straight through the floor. Now this is not what you want, you want it to kind of bounce off the floor and interact on the end, like I said earlier, kind of like it would in actual physics. Uh, but we'll get to that part later. Uh, we're actually going to go to the work on the emitter, so... Um, actually come down in pieces and there's the phone I'll be back in a second I'll just pause the video okay so where I was sorry about that uh, we'll just be we're just working on the emitter settings get my breath back run upstairs downstairs for a quick phone call anyway you under the cloner object you want to change go to uh, where is it not cloner object emitter and I'm just gonna go to particle and the birth rate I just want to leave it there at 10 maybe but under speed you want to crank that up, uh, kind of play that, uh, that's still too slow, 
So maybe if you go speed to about 700, play that. That's looking more like it. Maybe a bit faster, maybe put up to 800. Yeah, play. That is looking a bit better. That's going fast. But um, as you see, it goes through the floor. It's not what we want. Now, basic kind of law of physics applies by just right click on the floor, go to MoGraph tags and rigid body and click control and drag that down to cloner object now start from the beginning and you've got your cubes bouncing off the floor and that is how to create some bouncing cubes you know and uh, if you want to add some text in there in fact I'll add some text in there for um, tutorial purposes and uh, rotate around just here and see 90 degrees hold shift so it kind of locks on if you kind of start and play again You'll notice that the text, nothing, it just goes through the text, it doesn't bounce off or anything. So think about a rigid body to the text as well. Everything you basically want it to apply to, add it to. And play. And it kind of interacts with the text, knocks it over, etc. And, uh, but you know, I don't, if you, the cubes, they're, they're sliding all over the place, they're bouncing up, and it's, it's like the floor's made of ice. That's not what I'm kind of going for. So I'm just going to go under the uh, floor, and then go to the rigid body on the floor. And the bounce you want to take down to something around 0 0.1 and maybe just increase the friction and click play. And there it just kind of bounce around more. Maybe the bounce a little too high. You know, personal preference, you know, it depends on what kind of what kind of material you're going for, you know, maybe if you had a texture or whatever. Maybe tell you 0 0.05. And that's looking more like it. Uh, and that's how to kind of create it. That's how to create some falling cube in Cinema 4D. Uh, I hope you like this video. Ah, uh, that's maybe an easy tutorial, maybe a bit basic, maybe a bit vague. Ah, uh, but you know, I uh, tried to get back into Cinema 4D because I know a few of you wanted it. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you liked something. Hope you maybe kind of incorporate this idea into something of your own. Uh, but no, that's all from me. And I uh, hope to speak to you guys soon. And uh, goodbye.